Boom, what's up everybody? It's your boy Verano AK Carolina Blue. And I'm back with another edition of Clothing Talk. And I just want to say, I'm sorry for the layoff. I've been off for about maybe two months, just dealing with a lot of personal issues. Uh, just struggling, life struggles. That's, that's basically what it is. But I'm, I'm trying to get back on track here and be more consistent with you, uh, for you people. So before you do anything, man, like and subscribe to the video. And uh, the reason why we're getting back to, uh, back, back, back to you guys is because of a lot of things that have been going on. I mean, uh, last month in Minnesota here, that's where I stay, there's been <clears throat> the fashion week popping off. And there's been a lot of people, you know, getting into it. And, I, you know, I... I it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I didn't even know Minnesota really had a fashion week. But this is this is a week to really focus on design and, and, and people that have lines and, and designers and all that to come out in your city and really hit the ground and show people what they got. And if you're starting out and you're a clothing line and you're trying to get reputable, this is these events are very important. And I want to I want to tell you why. It's important that you get involved in these these movements or fashion fashion weeks. A is one network. Networking is one of the biggest things you can do. You can find out a lot of stuff about networking. Your network is your network. So this is where things come alive for you. So never forsake networking and always figure out what's going on in your town about fashion get into it you might just be a designer you might just say i'm just a t-shirt line that's that's all i am you're not a full fed clothing line you're not doing garments yet but if you're doing t-shirts you're doing fashion you're doing it get involved with these people because it's going to open your eyes out to many things you're going to have opportunities you're going to see fashion shows you're going to people you're going to get involved with people that are actually doing stuff that you you're not doing that you don't know how to uh na navigate i've been invited to a couple fashion shows i've been invited to uh be a part of one fashion show it, a lot of i i couldn't do it because it was so last minute i was like i am not ready for this and it, it just lets you know where you are and where you need to get to so these these two months have been just eye-opening on, uh, on a lot of things. There's another uh, fashion show that is coming up on the 28th that I'm going to be at, going to. I just go see a fashion show and see what you might be doing in the near future. It's just foresight, getting yourself ready to uh, in, the, in the industry and getting your name out there because it is so important. So that's one thing is get involved in fashion week in your city look it up google it figure it out i don't know where you are but figure it out and the next thing is it gives you an opportunity to look at your competition see what see what they're doing and and just get a barometer on your line and their line things you can do to improve on and and, and 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 really push it this is if you want to start a clothing line it just it's more than just hey I got the money here's a clothing line and do it you got to start building a following a culture you got to win your city so it, for me this has been a very big eye-opener this week it's like wow look at all these people doing it and then you get inspired by seeing other people uh, doing the same thing is and these are like people you need to be rubbing elbows with these people start rubbing elbows with these people that are doing it doing the same thing you're doing it uh some people got money some people don't have money this is where you can this fashion week is where you can get a hold of models just just you you say you're looking for models to uh, for your clothing line this is a place to run into models wow why wouldn't it be it's fashion week you're going to see models everywhere duh what about photographers? What you're gonna see photographers everywhere. So if you're not good with the, your camera game, you could do some collaborations with people. 
this is the time for you to meet and mingle with with people that have nasty sh are sick with camera game. But you just look at them. And I had a thing. I said I can't find any male models. Now you run into these these fashion places, or you know, and you're around these people, and bam, you got male models. You got you got models galore. You get involved with some kind of movement that is in your city. I guarantee you there is a page on Facebook that is dedicated to your city about fashion. Get involved with those people. Get get right in there. And uh, start making those connections with those people that can really help you out. Now, another thing about your line, stay true to it. Uh, keep it simple. I, one thing I've seen with this week was an eye opener is they keep it simple. They keep it simple. Keep your line simple. Don't overdo it, you know. Don't beat yourself up. You don't have to have the exclusive designs that you think you need. Keep it simple. Keep it something that somebody can see and recognize and, and get in their head and get it engraved. So, like, again, man, uh, I'm sorry for the absence. I'm sorry for... Uh, but like I said, man, depression kicks in. A lot of stuff sometimes just doesn't go your way. And but like I said, I'm back at it. So I'm back at it with you guys, full fledged. I'm gonna make a real serious commitment to you guys to pump out a video for you guys to to do whatever it needs to to help. If you guys have any questions, uh, show me some love in the comments. Uh, and let me explain to you right now a quick disclaimer about Paperboy. This line is not about going out here making money. That is not pay PBC. PBC, if you can imagine a, a Paperboy who delivers newspapers, who delivers news, who, who, who's going out there and in the scenes, involved, giving you information, that is is what Paperboy is about. That is who I am. I, on the other side of the spectrum, deliver swagger. That's what Paperboy stands for. We, I'm delivering you swagger to make you feel good, a feel good clothing line, to get you pumping style and whatnot. Make you feel like you're in here. Building confidence in, one, in individuals. That's what Paperboy is. It's not about money. It's not about how I'm out here getting it. You've never seen anything on my page or me. I'm a family man. I'm family oriented. I want people to be in, in, involved. I started this in 2007 to help my nephew. He was struggling to assimilate in high school and things like that. We gave him an identity. I gave him an identity. I wanted him to feel good in his own skin. That's the part I was delivering. I'm delivering swagger to these people, to these young kids, to let them know it is okay to be different. It is okay to have your own path. Just choose it and go with it. And go go hard. That's paper boy. It's not about these block boys out here trying to get money. It's not about me spending the, spending a whole bunch of money out here. You'll never see that in my page because I'm not about that. And that's not what this line is. So, that's who I am. What is your line? Who are you? Divine your line. Let people know. I'm signing out. Peace out. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Show your boy some love.